Hey guys, it's John. Welcome back to Detention. We just uncovered some startling revelations. And I don't know who this is. Well, who was that? Do we walk after them? We're back in the school now, though. Hang on. Gonna look around a little bit. There's a mattress here. This is like a- it's abandoned now. It's like squatters are here. Also, I'm definitely a fucking ghost. Pretty sure, anyway. So she's haunting the school now, where her sins were committed. Our life would vanish, but not our guilt. I am you. Yet you are not me. It's the sin that makes you linger in this realm. Memories like mirrors reflecting the true likeness of your soul. In a world full of pain and suffering. Fang Rei Shin, what do you fear the most? Losing family, losing my life, losing myself. Um, losing... Myself? We'll go with that. Believe that we are all born free, eager to walk on your own path, and afraid of losing yourself. You are me. I got an achievement. I don't know what it is, though. What? Hey, it's me! Was I supposed to say before I talked to her? I think I was. What if there are three different endings? Holy shit. Where should we go? Up the stairs or? I don't know why I decided to take the long way. Okay. What the heck? The way forward is the path to your past. However, the road ahead has crumbled. Lead me anywhere and I will follow you like a shadow. What, now I'm back to being a little ghost girl again. Huh. Door handle is broken, I can't get in. Well, that sucks. Hmm. Oh! Follow me like a shadow, huh? What? The sliding door is wrapped in barbed wire. This is like me in the past. Remember when you enrolled, so full of passion, participating in every school activity, showing off your academic abilities, grabbing the attention of your peers and teachers. Then things took a turn for the worse at home. All the attention quickly turned into unwanted scrutiny. So you chose to escape to turn a blind eye, grim acceptance. Uh. 
I chose to escape. The world is immeasurably vast. There's always a place to hide. You are me. I see. This is a interesting little mechanic here. This place is completely lifeless. Even ideas are buried here. You guys are burning books. Remember to thoroughly destroy each book and add the spirit money to throw them off. There can't be any intact book pages or else this would be for naught. Hey, Wei. You're closer with Miss Yin. I heard that she had to flee the country overnight. Is that true? I'm not sure. She never said anything about leaving. Unlike Miss Yin, we don't have the connections to guide us to safety. Aren't you afraid? Well, actually, what bothers me the most is, do you know how the reading list got leaked out? Look behind you, dude. Stop asking questions. I am as clueless as you. Let's just hurry up and finish this. We don't want to get caught. Sheesh, okay. What's this? A written verdict from court. A torn piece of the verdict. Chang Minghui, district level educator, is found guilty with students Wei and others of collusion with communist forces. Chang Minghui is to be put to death after the court's ruling. Wei Chong Ting pleads guilty to affiliation with communist forces. Reading of prohibited texts with rebellious and corrupt thoughts will be sentenced to 15 years jail time. So for anyone who's gotten this far and isn't really sure like what's happening, this this game takes place several decades ago. I said centuries in part one like an idiot. I was just, it was a mistake on my part. I was brain farting. Um, during what is a period of time known as the White Terror, I believe, uh, in which uh, Taiwan was under martial law and <laughs> you were not allowed to read certain books concerned uh, consumed certain certain media and it was taken very seriously as you can see uh, I believe that it lasted from like the 1950s to the late 80s so it's actually fairly recent where am I now who was that we saw him before the bonfire of hope is almost depleted, diminishing in the wind. Yeah, here's the secret book club. Some of the book contents might conflict with your everyday thoughts. But this material will help you engage in reflective and independent thinking. Well, let's call it a day. I do want to remind you all again to never mention the book club to anyone else. For that might put yourself and others in great danger. And Wei, I'd like to ask you a favor. Yes, Miss Yen, is it about the new books? I've already given the list to Mr. Chang. He said the shipping company won't help us anymore, but he'll figure something out. The government is enforcing restrictions on all imports. Soon the book club might come to an end. It did, but not the way you thought. Miss Yin, why are things like this? I'm sorry, Wei. There's nothing I can do either. Oh, just one more thing before you go. Mr. Chang never brought us any of those books in the first place, right? Ha, huh, I know I can always count on you. Clipping. Blacklisted to return home for burial. Half a century in exile. Blacklisted to return home for burial. During the period of martial law, Miss Yin Sui Han was a wanted political fugitive. She was lucky to evade arrest and left the country only to be blacklisted. She traveled the world fighting for human rights and freedom of expression, but unfortunately died of lung cancer at the age of 50. 
Is this based on real people? No, no, no. It said at the beginning of the game, it was like, these are all fictional, fortunately. These, these characters. Her last wish was to be able to return to her hometown. Now this wish can be achieved with the lifting of martial law. Okay, so the law is changing, I see. Okay, well, there's nothing over there. Okay. And I guess we go back out this way, right? He's walking that way. Well, what if I want to go this way? What about me and what I want? But then, like, this is on the other side of things. Interesting. I'll go this way. I just... I want to make sure I'm getting all the notes and stuff. Can't go in there. He went into the men's restroom. I guess we'll go in too. I believe this is where we went in before, where her reflection changed. The door is barred by a broom. There's a note on top of it. Snitcher. Remove the broom. Yeah, I guess let's do it. We got no choice. Yeah, let's go inside. I mean, I assumed that the snitch was Ray, right? It had to have been. All signs seem to point to it. The scene where she's, uh... Got the gun and is executing Miss Yin seems to be the most damning evidence. Time to read another note. Note entry. I got an achievement just now. Excerpt. That time in fear, forcing herself to breed hatred. Who knew that she would take that leap and leave this world behind? Nary a last word. Because of fear? Remorse? The reason remains undecided. I was left with a blur of confused thoughts spiraling through my mind. When I saw the sunlight again, things had changed drastically. My loved ones and teacher went to a higher place. She was buried in an unmarked grave, leaving me a decrepit man. Hmm. go now here but we're, we're like slowly going through all the rooms in the in the game again altar for praying I feel blessed I am blessed haha -ha! there's a note on the cart on the cart? Oh, oh, that was earlier. I was seeing... <sighs> I was seeing me earlier again. Well, she can't go past the light. Right? Huh. Do I need you to come with me? Okay, there's another light right there. Hang on. 
There we go. Right. Huh. Not sure I quite get this. Maybe, okay, hang on. Maybe I gotta do this again. Acting immediately on one's determination. This is the philosophy he believed in. That someone should take fate into their own hands. With you following him, what ideas do you hold? Take hold of your destiny, I guess. That is a charming thought. So life has gained a goal. Next to him, you found yourself. You are me. Again. Gotta make sure we know that. And we're back in the red house, interestingly. Out this way? No matter how many times this replays, nothing can be unwound. You can never redeem yourself. There's the military police. Right? Instructor Bai. Oh, it's Instructor Bai. Same thing. This is the book list I mentioned before. I found it on our teacher's desk. Miss Fang, the country appreciates your assistance. And that's why it was the phone call, because that's the only reward she got from that. She got that one sentence, and then the rest of it was... She, she ruined her family life, everyone at school. Did you think finding something to rely on would stave off your fear? One day, however, he was gone just like that. You've lost everything you can depend on. What choice will you make now? Try to take them back. The instructor's sharp gaze was stifling. You steeled yourself and performed without hesitation. In that one moment, transforming into a pitiless patriot. Easier than you think, right? You are me. Guess I can't go that way. That's fine. That's fine. It's going that way. We'll, we'll follow him. Went upstairs. I'll go upstairs too. To the roof. No, this is where I jump off. Right. Wait. He maybe he. Maybe he was just having a cigarette up here. Yellowed paper plane. From the white deer to my white daffodil, fate holds us apart. So let us meet again in another life to our freedom. Open the door. Cheng Ming Hui, you are suspected of spreading anti-government propaganda, smuggling banned books, and organizing illegal gatherings. The court has already obtained the necessary evidence. We now arrest you on the grounds of rebellious activities. 
Do not resist on pain of death. Looks like it will be difficult to escape this time. Fine. Take my head so that I may join my brothers and sisters in death. <sighs> Why? Aren't people born to live freely? To think openly, to speak their minds without restriction or fear? Freedom of belief, love, and self-realization. Being with you was a happiness of the simplest and purest kind. I couldn't help but think. When we could be hand in hand, living an untroubled life. But in the end, this is only a fool's dream. I am too vain like the daffodils, fixated on my grandiosity. The world is not ready for the likes of us. Amnesty certificate. A certificate of amnesty. Name Wei Chung Ting. Type of pardon. Amnesty. Crime declared invalid. I thought this was Wei. I wasn't sure though. I didn't want to say anything and be wrong. <laughs> thought I would rot in jail. I didn't expect to live past martial law. People say I am a victim of politics. My crime was written off, but my youth is long past. Something lost can never be regained. Letters from home. A yellowed letter. My son Chong Ting. Even though I witness sickness and death on a daily basis, this still fills my heart with grief. Your mother's disease was utterly untreatable. I can only hope she died without worry, without pain. A person's body can be physically locked up, but your mind is always free to go where it pleases. Father hopes you can still get some peace of mind in this situation. Stay warm, stay safe. Your father, Jackson. Eventually, mother still passed away. Father didn't take it well and had to take a break from his clinic work. His written words were spirited and calming. They supported me during my darkest days. And here's the written verdict from court. Oh, we'll be sentenced to 15 years jail time. Did I read that before? 15 years of my life were taken away by a piece of paper. I can still clearly remember when the military police came knocking and carried me off in front of my mother. Little did I know, that was the last time I could I would see her face. After being released from jail, I haven't had any contact with Miss Yin. I couldn't believe it at first, but I heard she had passed away abroad due to lung cancer. Like with my mother, only after seeing her ashes with my own eyes was I able to realize I had lost a familiar part of my heart forever. It doesn't matter what I was feeling back then, only pain and sadness remain. And that's the full notebook. Look at how old he is now. Wow, he's climbing back up. Metal lodging for laborers. Alas, to be demolished. All to be demolished. He's going back to visit the school. Barred from the heavens and hampered from the underworld. Alone and wandering forever she goes. It's that old woman. She's talking about Ray, isn't she? 
pitiful. Yeah, she's talking about Ray. Why did it come back up? Nothing new, right? Okay. Okay, it wasn't going away. But even the tree got cut down! Ah, I didn't notice that at first. Oh, and the credits. I'm walking through during the credits. Wow. That was an excellent game. Yeah, this is- it's- it's weird to like, walk around during the credits, but I feel like I have to for like, cinematic appreciation, you know? Anyway, what to say about detention? Um, let's see, that was about, uh, I got through that in about three hours-ish? A little less than three hours. Not, not a bad experience, like, in terms of time. I don't like to measure games in terms of how many, out, like, raw hours you get out of them, because it depends on what's in those hours. Look at that thing! Look at that thing! That's interesting. We're going to the roof to have a cigarette? Looks like we are. Oh, that's charming. I don't know if that's necessary. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I enjoyed this. I think it was very well executed. And it's a... Uh, it's a... It's a powerful story of, uh... Loss. Oh my god, am I gonna take a seat? That was awesome. I really enjoyed it. Um, I think, in terms of like overt scariness, it's not really that scary. But uh, I think it's a good psychological horror game. You know, the 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 horror is conceptual. You know, it's, uh, it's personal. It's, you know, takes place largely inside the character's own minds. Real. It's like real horror, you know? And of course, it's, it's, it can't be understated. Like, this is a historically accurate game from what I can gather. This period of time was very real, and it was not that long ago. But yeah, I, I think uh, big ups to Red Candle Games for not only developing the game, but they said, you know what, we're going to release this on January 13th, or was it 11th or 12th? I can't remember. They had, they've had a release date for months, and they've stuck to it. Which is not something I see very often anymore. You often see release dates get delayed, or like, they announce the release date like a month beforehand, or a couple weeks even. And uh, with this, you know, 
they stuck to it the whole time, which is great. But yeah, enjoyed it. I think I think I got all the notes. I think that's what that last achievement was for. It's hard to tell though, because I can't read it. But yeah, I liked it. I think the localization was it wasn't perfect, but it was good enough. And it was good story-driven puzzle, side-scrolling indie horror game about um, you know a historical time period, which is not something that you see done very often. So yeah, let me know what you guys thought in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey guys, video's not quite done yet. I decided to go back and get the other ending. I believe there's only two endings to the game. There's the true ending, which I got out of luck on my first try, and then there's the bad ending, which you can get by simply answering anything other than the answers that I selected previously in the video. So we're gonna try that. We're gonna say, live a laid back life. Well, they didn't like that so much. Interesting, okay, so that was the wrong answer. And if you get any of the answers wrong, from what I understand, uh, well, you're done. So let's go ahead and see what ending we get. Oh, I don't remember this happening. Memories are like a mirror, reflecting the true likeness of your soul. It was all staticky. I guess that means wrong. Static means wrong. You did it incorrectly. Maybe you still want to forget. Maybe you're still afraid. Facing your own aspirations, but not confessing to the truth. I am you. Yet you are not me. Oh. Oh. It's a river of blood again. With tons of bodies in it. Constantly cycling over and over with only the river Sanzu at the end of your journey. Yet the knot of sin still lies unsolved. The bridge leading to Paramita lies in collapse. So the Requiem with a warm crescendo welcomes you once again. Oh, this is like her award from the government, it looks like. With all the flags and everything. In her mind, at least. Oh. Life ends, but sin is permanent. In silence, I await my curtain call. They kept the noose there? Really? That was a much worse ending than the one that I got. 
was way worse. Very sad music, too. Wow, okay. Well, that was the other ending, I believe. Like I said, I think there's only two endings, and they revolve around how you answer the final questions. If you want to get the true ending, you have to say exactly what I said previously. Choose all, like, the noble answers, I think. You choose, like, uh, I want, I was afraid of losing myself. I wanted to escape. Um, God, take hold of my destiny and take them back, I think, were the answers that I chose to get the true ending. And if you choose any of the other ones, the ghost is like, dot, 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 you're not me, you know, at the end, and you get the ending where you hang yourself. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing uh, this game and seeing both endings. See you guys in the next video. Think critically.